Fucking cow titties, nigga. What the hell? I get a strip for the cow titties. Got them donuts, man. Yeah, man. Look, 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 look. Look, we got them donuts. You know what I'm saying? Look. I can feel the vibration in my ass right now from the phone. Look at it's that going shit. off like a bitch. Look at that shit, man. Look at that fucking donuts, man. And we got some motherfucking milk, man. Straight out of the cow titty, nigga. Straight from the titty. What the hell? Straight from the fucking titty, man. Fucking donut shit. I'm gonna grab myself a new cup. Check this shit out, man. You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna double cup. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? You're about to get it. Mm. <laughs> You're about to get it, girl. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and this shit's going on my fucking nerves. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> God damn. Check that shit out. Shit. I'm getting all my goddamn nerves over here. What? The water hot? Eight. 43. Oh, this is the time counting up. The what now? Is the water hot as hell? Yeah, the water comes out hot as fuck. We gotta leave before 8 at least. Yeah. <sighs> Some motherfuckers. Shit's bright as hell. <laughs> I think Elmer and Natalie are showering together. So, yeah. They're having fun in there right now. They're probably doing it in the shower. So Elmer and Natalie is probably in the shower right now doing it. Having wild, crazy, chubby people sex. So <laughs> 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 it's, the, it's the creepy kind of sex. <laughs> you can probably hear them in there moaning. <laughs> that was my burp. That was so comfortable. Oh my god, look at this little faggot over here. He's sucking his own dick under the covers. Yeah. And Cody. What? What the hell? Look at him. He's, he's going to town on himself over there. That boy going to town on himself. You having a good time? <laughs> you having a good time over there? <laughs> you having a good time all by himself? Uh, yeah, I got I got warned by this cop too. Hey, are you? Drop that brightness, damn! This video light gets too damn bright. <sighs> Six forty-three. Check out what he's eating for Can breakfast. Good time, bro. I'm gonna go for bread. Oh, he's The manual focus. Uh, hey, look at this fucking dude. It's six, like, what, like six, six forty-three, six forty-three a.m. in the freaking morning, and this nigga over here eating fucking pizza. Look at this bitch. Look at, Ooh, that. Look at, look at this. Fuck, look at this freak right here. He a fucking super freak. I am a super freak. Super freak. Uh, ladies ain't ready for me. Look at this shit. He got pizza on his phone because he a fucking dumbass. What? Look at that shit. That's nasty as hell. Oh. It's fucking Tostitos. Fucking pizza ass over here. And Elmer just got out of the fucking shower. Sure. And he was scratching his balls and trying to air dry his nuts through the <laughs> air conditioner a while ago. That's <laughs> fucking dude. Uh. People. We're going to the big one. Pitcher, Oklahoma, motherfuckers. Five hours away, guys. Five hours. And, and, we, had, and we still yet to cuss in our videos. And we, so we would stop <laughs> cussing in the videos and we're still doing it. We don't care. It's we're, a habit, guys. We apologize. <laughs> we're ghetto like that. <laughs> but, um, five hour drive, guys. We just hope we 
We hope it's worth the drive. We don't, I don't want to just get there and be like, there ain't shit here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, fucking find out that the place is not even available. Like, you can't even go in. Yeah, I would be, be stupid as shit. Going almost six hours, people. And if we can't go inside that bitch, we're going to jump a fence. We don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. We're not going to waste our goddamn time going all the way out there and not even get to go inside. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Yeah. If we don't do shit, we're going to Chicago. The heck? What time to go to Chicago? Let's back it over here. Pizza ass motherfucker. But anyways, guys. I'm, uh... Keep you guys updated. We're going to keep you guys updated on our trip, on our way there, and on our way back from the trip. And of course, while we're there, you know, hope you're recording. But, uh, mm-hmm. for now, guys, we'll let you guys go. See you later. Okay, everybody, so, uh, we're heading to my place right now because I forgot my fucking dumbass forgot my pills last night. So, we gotta go back to my place and grab my pills real quick. Uh, and then we'll be heading out after that, so uh, we'll keep y'all updated on the trip and all the places we go and everything on the way to Pitcher, Oklahoma. So uh, be ready for it, people. Peace. What's up guys, so we've been on the road for about two hours and like 40 minutes now, um, and we still got about four more hours to go, um, anyways, we're all pretty exhausted, as you can see, I look exhausted, they look exhausted, everybody say head to the camera, everybody, everybody, Edgar. I'm drinking my what the hell, this dude, <clears throat> alright, Cody, show yourself bro, and I'm gonna have to blur out his fucking ass, this motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, anyways. Right, if you catch this, then I'm gonna get the shit, alright? Okay. Anyways, guys. So. <clears throat> we hope we get there soon. You know, sooner than what we expect. Um, you know, because we really do wanna see what's up with this place. Um, and if you guys aren't, you know, aware, we're going to Pitcher, Oklahoma. I think we've talked about it before on some of our pages. Yeah, a lot of our videos. Yeah, a lot of our videos. We're always talking about this place, just from what, you know, from, from the research that we have done. Um, sounds pretty fun, all the research we've done. Um, no one lives there. I think the population is like one person. That's pretty much it. But um, hopefully we make it soon, guys. Well, we'll see you back there, guys. Or once we get there. That's maybe. All right, guys. Well... Peace out. Guys, the grass is so fucking green. Thank you, God, for green grass. Yeah, thank you. We love green. you, Jesus. Yeah, for the weed too. Yes, thank you for weed. Thank you for giving us weed. What's up, people? So we finally made it to Pitcher, Oklahoma. As you can see right here. So I'm guessing this used to be an auction building. You know, people would bring stuff here, cars or whatever. You know, they want to sell and stuff. Blah blah blah. 
And I guess they would make auctions here. And I'm guessing that's like a garage. That's where they would take the cars in. And then this would be like an office where all the people, you know, the managers and employees and shit. And as there. you can see, the door is open so we can go inside. We're about to in a minute. Yeah, so we're about to show you guys the inside of this building. It's an old building. Cody, show them the whole building from outside. Yeah. Are you guys ready to go in? Cody, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright guys, let's bring you guys inside. So, this is the other building guys. Old, old ass building. Look at the roof. The roof is collapsing. Yep, oh my goodness. Old boards over here. I guess the kids will write on them. I don't know what happened there. Restroom right there. I'll show you well, looks like some tape over here. It says caution water line. Water line. Damn, here goes the garage. Styrofoam everywhere. Goodness. Yeah, some rotted wood over here. Be careful if you come over here. You don't want to fall through the floor. That's one of the garages where they kept the cars. Shit. Yeah, I should be careful myself because this wood don't feel that that durable. Feels like it could fall, break through. Goodness. Anyways, guys. So this place is like a junkyard. So this is not the only building we're going to show you guys. We're gonna go to other buildings. Um, but for now, I'm going to let Cody tell you guys the uh, history of Pitcher. Cody, you want to tell him? Yeah. So, everyone, let's see. Get a good 360 view of everything. Hell yeah. Um, so, well, the story behind Pitcher, Oklahoma is that I think back in around World War II, uh, there was a bunch of, uh, there was a lead company that was making, um, digging lead out of the ground to make bullets. For, uh, for our guns, for the soldiers. And so they dug up so much lead, there was so much lead here under the ground that there was too much. And they had plenty left over after making all the bullets after the war was over. Well, that lead had built up so much radiation around the town that over time people here started getting sick because of the high radiation levels. So uh, they, uh, they ended up having to evacuate. Everybody had to leave. Uh, as far as I know, the population Several years ago, it was like one. It looks like there's still some people living here now because we've seen some houses with cars and stuff in front of them. So I'm thinking the population is a little higher now. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the story behind Pitcher. What's up, guys? So, um, of course, we just finished showing you guys this building right over here. Um, but right now, I'm about to show you guys... Uh, Right across the street is the old neighborhood where people were actually staying in. Those are the homes of people that used to stay here. Um, and then again, you can also tell this is a really, really old town. Because right now we're standing on a platform where there used to be a you know, building. I don't know what it was, but you can tell this, this, um, this is actually old tile. Um, and then right now, a couple minutes ago, we had a local telling us some of the history about the town. Uh, Kind of creepy what he said. So he's been living here his whole life. Older gentleman, you know, maybe around his 70s, 60s, I think. Um, he said that people actually started leaving their homes um, because I'm guessing with the lead, with the radiation and all, they started going kind of crazy. And so they started leaving. He said that uh, you used to be able to go there and actually see the buildings from inside, uh, but now. They're protected by the law. Uh, I'm not sure why. It's kind of weird that all of a sudden now they want to protect these buildings. Um, so that's why we're not showing you the inside of them. Because uh, it's supposed to be a historical place. Yeah, it's a little, I don't know. But anyways, guys, we can't go in there, unfortunately. Uh, we did want to show you guys the inside of them. And it's marked as a historical marking. There's actually a sign down the road that says historical marking. But yet they won't allow people to go in, which is stupid. Yep. 
But anyways, guys, uh, right now we're just gonna look for other abandoned buildings that we can go into. They said that there and, were uh, homes that were that are in the woods that are abandoned too. Yeah, like she said, there's more homes inside these forests and stuff, but they're also blocked off by the by the, by the government. Yeah, they got concrete barricades blocking the roads. Yeah. Um, but like I said, we're gonna try and show you uh, show you other buildings um, that are not, you know, blocked off. Um, but anyways, guys, we'll see you guys in a bit. Anyways guys, so far it's been a very interesting trip and we really appreciate you guys watching this video. We really appreciate you guys coming with us on every trip that we go to, you know, watching us guys do, you know, watching us do this. Um, we just hope that our channel continues to grow and we, we hope that you guys continue to follow us. Um, and then right now, if, if we find on our building or so, then, then we'll record that for you guys. We'll catch, um, make that material for the, our, our video. Um, if not, this is the end of the video, guys. And um, share, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, guys, just to get us out there, guys. And um, really appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And uh, we hope you guys continue to go down this journey with us, you know, down this path that... Uh, Know, so far we're we're enjoying and, and we're loving and you know you know we enjoy doing um but yeah guys and uh, as you can see it's finished raining finally there's the rainbow over there sun over there freaking rainbow out in the yep. barely <laughs> but anyways guys uh wish us I good luck see the rainbow over there <laughs> wish us good luck back home because we got like another six hours going back home and um yeah guys peace out <laughs>